Babes, let's talk about this movie. So our film adventure stars Julia Roberts, movie star of the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, who you might know as the auntie of Emma Roberts. And as you know, Ryan Murphy, the creator of Glee, Pose, among many others, also always cast Emma Roberts in American Horror Story. But long before those days, he directed Eat, Pray, Love, starring Julie Roberts. So Eat, Pray, Love is about the American writer Elizabeth Gilbert, who basically was in a first marriage with this man and realized that she no longer was in love with him. And she just like didn't recognize who she had become in their life together. They were living kind of like a bougie life in the suburbs. And the book starts off with her praying to God, which is very like uncharacteristic of her and her saying like, I know I've actively like participated in the evolving of my own life, but I just don't want to be here anymore. Gilbert's first husband is played by Billy Crudup in the movie. So basically Julia's character is like, I want to get a divorce. And he's like, no. And it like starts this really contentious divorce battle. And basically while the divorce is getting finalized and she's sort of like mending her heart, she starts dating David, who is a young actor portrayed by James Franco. In the book, they kind of explain it better. But in the movie, the relationship doesn't really make sense why they're not happy because they seem like so in love one moment and the next moment she's like crying on the ground. In the book, it kind of goes like more into details of like why it didn't work. But basically, Liz is just not satisfied with her life. And so she's like, all right, bet. I'm going to go spend the next year in Italy, India, and Bali, just kind of like healing from my heartbreak. And I also met this Balinese medicine man who told me that I'm supposed to come back here when I was doing this magazine assignment. So let's go do it. So her publisher gives her a large advance and is like, go find yourself, Liz. Have fun, but write about it. So in Italy, she's like hardcore vibing, right? She's like eating pizza and pasta and talking to just like a bunch of interesting people. She has a language partner. She meets like this Swedish expat and they're kind of becoming besties. She's just having a good time. She meets Luca Spaghetti who becomes her lifelong friend. His real name is Luca Spaghetti and there are IRL besties. She posts about him on her Insta. In India, she meets this guy named Richard from Texas who's like battling his personal demons. He's a former alcoholic and she's really trying to just like master the art of meditation, trying to become spiritually at peace with her life and she kind of goes on this journey of like learning self-forgiveness on her third leg of the trip she's back in bali with the medicine man that she met at the beginning of the film she's basically putting into practice the new things that he's teaching her as well as everything she learned in india so she's balancing the pursuit of pleasure the pursuit of meditation the pursuit of wisdom but then she meets javier bardem's character and she's like no 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 i wasn't supposed to like meet some hunky man like this was all about self-enlightenment but naturally, they fall in love. Fate takes its course. The two ended up getting married, which Liz then wrote a whole second book about. Okay, I'm out of time, but like for part two.